In this video, we shall learn how to do merge operation using the leftist heap. Initially, the heap is empty. Let us insert 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 15 into the heap one by one. Now, let me add the value 10 into the heap. So, now the heap is empty. So, one node heap is created and it is inserted and this is the leftist heap now. Let me add another element 20 into this heap. So, 20, one node heap is created, the roots values are conferred. 20, the right side heap has the larger value, it gets merged to the right of the left heap. Okay. Then the NPL values are greater for the right subtree, so it gets swapped. Let me show the animation step by step. Now I am adding 30 to this leftist heap. So when you see the left is no left side more there would be more nodes so that we always merge new elements to the right side. Hence the name leftist heap. Now the for the value 30 new node is created and it is shown here. Then we have to compare the nodes, root nodes of these two heaps. This is one heap and this is another heap. So this root node has low value. So to its right, this right heap has to be merged. So one empty node is created to its right. Then 30 is, this is the right heap and it has to be merged here. Then we have to compare the NPL value of each thing. So for this node, the NPL value of its children is 0 and this value is also 0. So there is no need for swapping. So this is the result after 30 gets inserted. Now let us insert 40. So initially one new node with the value 40 is created. This is the left heap and this is the right heap. Next we need to compare the root nodes of these two heaps. So left heap, it, its root node is value is smaller. So we have to merge this 40, this heap, this right heap to its right side. Again, this 30 and 40, the root nodes have to be compared. So, 30 is smaller. So, this right heap has to be merged to the right side of this left heap. Now, assigning NPL value again, it, for this node, this node has 0. NPL value is 0 and this node will have new value. So we get swapped. Before, so this node, the NPL value is, its left subtree is minus 1 and this right subtree is 0. So right subtree's NPL value is larger. So we need to do the swap. Then the same process has to be repeated until we reach the root node of the merged heap. So again this NPL value is 0 and this node This node's NPL value is also 0, so no swap is required. So NPL value of leaf node is 0, NPL value of node with one child is also 0. So for this node, both the left and right subtree has equal NPL value, so no need to do swapping between the subtrees. Let us insert 50 here. 
so new node is created and this is the left hip and this is the right hip now we need to compare the root node values so 50 has to be merged to the right subtree of this left hip so 30 and 50 are now compared again to its right side empty node will be created and the right hip will be merged here now NPL value of all the nodes are calculated so this nodes NPL value becomes 1 and this nodes NPL value is 0 so right subtree has greater NPL value so we need to do the swapping ok so now this becomes the leftist heap because the left side takes more value so as we had seen already leftist heap follows the structure order property as well as the heap order property now let us insert 15 into this leftist heap so single node heap is created this is left side heap and this is right side heap this 15 has to become has to be merged here in leftist heap and skew heap insert operation delete operation everything is the merging operation only so this 15 has to be merged into this leftist heap the first step we need to compare the root node so this node has the value as the minimum value so to its right side this right heap has to be merged again 20 and 15 are compared now this is it has the minimum value so this 20 the subtree of this 20 has to be merged with this 15 so to its right to this 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 is this heap has the minimum value minimum root value so to its right this subtree has to be merged and the whole thing is returned to this subtree then NPL value has to be calculated so these are the leaf nodes value is 0 these are the this is the leaf node value is 0 and this is the node with the single left child so its NPL value is 0 and for this NPL value is 1 because uh, the shortest path is 1 or NPL value of its children plus 1 but the left subtree has greater NPL value so we no need to swap and this is the final heap leftist heap we quickly insert element 5 into this leftist heap and check how it has been done single node heap is created root node is compared this right side heap has lower root value so to its right this left heap has to be added merged So as the all the NPL values are given correctly it can be just proceeded okay. so at the end the left, is, left side node the left subtree will have more nodes it is the height is higher in the left subtree thank you